Although purists may prefer classical art forms to be left exactly as they have been, there are also innovators who find ways of showing love and respect for their art in exciting new ways. Michelle encountered some fresh ideas at a festival in Durban recently. The members of the Flatfoot Dance Company were in rehearsal at Durban's Playhouse when Michal arrived. Leanne Lutz is presenting a new work titled Migrations at the feet of Carly, which promises to venture far beyond the comfort zone of convention. An acclaimed choreographer, academic and dance innovator, Leanne founded Flatfoot in 2003 and the company now enjoys international recognition. Please give me some background into migrations at the feet of Kali. The work basically looks at the meeting of kind of colonial white history, the meeting of Indian indentured labor history in South Africa, and kind of black history. And it's really about how we imagine that past in terms of history, legacy, remembering. You've worked with Ewak and Manesh countless times. Why do you believe the collaboration has worked so well? I think Manesh is one of the most extraordinary performers in the country at the moment. And so for me, the opportunity to work with him again and to kind of share that gift of storytelling, because I think Kathak is primarily a storytelling art form. And to take that form and have him willing to shift it, change it, move it, and use it in another kind of way has been an incredible gift. What role do you believe that dance, as well as the performing arts in general, can play in bridging the gap between the cultural divisions? As an artist, your responsibility is to healing and to nation building and to cohesion and to telling stories that are difficult. I think the histories that are being told are not easy histories. I think there's quite a lot of painful memory in the work. But I think that's the point, is that we can't bury history. We can't pretend those things don't exist. And I've watched the young dancers in the work learn about indentured labor. And so going on this amazing journey of also having to talk and learn about other kinds of processes. For me, an artist, you know, your job is to educate, to be an activist, also to make something beautiful, I hope. Sri Manesh Maraj is one of South Africa's foremost Kathak exponents, as well as being a teacher and artistic director. Manesh, please tell me about your involvement in Migrations at the Feet of Kali. This work, Migrations at the Feet of Kali, brings in uh, an Indian classical dance form, Kathak, as one of the layers of the production to use it as a metaphor for our message. So the entire story of Kali is enacted with her destroying the demons, but in actual fact it's the demons within us where the demon uh, represents ego and we need to, as human beings, replace that ego with humility. Begin your dance of death. Begin your wild for this production, Manesh and the Flatfoot dancers were joined on stage by Durban-based aerosol artist and hip-hop activist Ian Robinson, better known as Ewok. And Ewok, what role do you play in this particular work? My ancestry as a white South African was something that I couldn't run away from and I ultimately had to humble myself before and lay myself down before and in, in the act of doing that, I found a, a comfort with it, you know, that I didn't have before, you know. So it's become it's a very personal journey for me. The work was presented as part of the Nritya Angan Dance Festival, where Michal met a leading figure in local dance. Harushka, what does New Directions mean to you? All the artists that we've seen tonight come from classical ballet or contemporary or Bharatanatyam or Kathak. Now they've evolved into something very special. Now why is it so important that Indian dance should continuously develop? I think dancers are evolving in their art because of their own personal experiences. And it's wonderful that they bring that to stage. Whether it's a classical art or a contemporary art, it's actually the person evolving on stage that's very essential. And that is New Direction.